Hello, I'm Michelle Neal, and welcome to this very special episode of The Theatre Show in conjunction with Stage Whispers magazine. Today we are at the Lyric Theatre at Star City in Sydney for the invitation-only advanced viewing of Hairspray the Musical. We are very lucky. Not only are we giving you front row seats for the opening of the show, but we will also be chatting with David Atkins, the director of the show, along with the production's fabulous choreographer, Jason Coleman. Cheryl Ann is here with me tonight, and she certainly has her dancing shoes on. It's 1962. The 50s are out and change is in the air. Baltimore's Tracy Turnblad, a big girl with big hair and an even bigger heart, has only one passion, to dance. Hey mama, hey mama, look around. Everybody's grooving to a brand new sound. Hey mama, hey mama, follow me. I know something's in you that you want to set free. So let I'm Tracy. Ah! There is my bright, shining star! Oh, television does not do you justice. <laughs> Mr. Pinky, you certainly picked a lovely girl to put the plus in your plus sizes. Go, oh, Tracy! Tracy is, um, she's a big girl and she's got big this dreams and all she wants to do is dance on the Corny Collin show, which is, you know, the very famous sister. show of the time. And she wants to stop racial segregation and she wants to win the man of her dreams and she wants to do that all without changing who she is on the exterior because she thinks it's what's on the inside that counts. And Can Tracy win the heart of the show's heartthrob, Link Larkin, without denting her due? Only in Hairspray, folks. Welcome to the 60s. The Sydney season of Hairspray contains a world-first innovation. The entire set is a massive LED display. Cheryl Ann went backstage with the director, David Atkins. Let's have a look. Well, I'm just here on the set of Hairspray, and if you have a look, there's these amazing panels which are actually moving LED screens, and they do change images. This is really groundbreaking and just an amazing, amazing set. We decided to, to recreate the whole thing uh, and give it this new LED look. Uh, and, uh, and sort of reinvent it from a different point of view, from a sort of television point of view, which is where the show's all based. So that's how we came up with the concept. Damon Darcy and, and I came up with the concept and he designed it. And um, a, a company called Digital Pulse did all of the content uh, and uh, Franz Kainer did all of the um, uh, cartoon work. So it's a, it's a big team of people to do it. But uh, the same, I guess, as you do is if you're building a conventional set. But and, and with this, it's, it's all digital. So it's, it's a very innovative, very new way of doing shows. <laughs> like the show? I've got to say, I haven't had so much fun. Dance, jumped up and down in my seat for a long time. Brilliant, music wonderful. I was gobsmacked at the fabulous visual excitement, the LED screens, what, however they do that is brilliant. Hey Tracy, hey baby, look at me. I'm the cutest chickie that you ever did see. It's 
the music in the show that's really infectious. You can't help but want to dance. It's the music that gives us the energy to keep going. So it, it, I have a ball every night. Who better to choreograph the incredible numbers in this production than Jason Coleman? Most of you will know Jason from Australia's So You Think You Can Dance. He also choreographed the opening and closing ceremonies of the Sydney Olympics in 2000. Your choreography for me, I really felt the 60s. Uh, what was involved in coming up with your choreography? When I was a younger dancer, I used to choreograph by standing in front of a mirror and watching myself. At this point in my career, I, uh, I shut my eyes and I see it all in there. And uh, I, I, rarely, I don't even really have a step when I walk into the studio. I just have like a movie in my head. Um, and uh, we cast great dancers, great talents, and, uh, and they've done a great job through the whole Melbourne season. And then tonight, I believe, is probably one of the best shows they've ever done. Don't miss hairspray. I mean, look at me. I, I've lived on hairspray, darling. You've got it going on. The performances, I mean, you know, Trevor's, of course, my favourite, Trevor Ashley. But uh, I'm his mama number two. But um, every performance is strong, don't you think, darling? And the music, oh my God, that song at the end. I've never seen um, a closing number as energetic and everyone was on their feet. It was just spectacular. David, how do you feel? Oh, look, I'm um, very relieved and excited. It was a fantastic response. I mean, um, you know, you hope that you're going to get that sort of response out of an audience, and uh, they were great tonight. The audience loved it, and we got all the moments we wanted. And at the end, they were just they were they completely went through the roof. It was fantastic. It was very exciting. This is the best party ever. Welcome to the 60s. I've got to go and party now, so back to you, Michelle. Well, while Cheryl Ann gets her boogie on, it's time to close off this episode of The Theatre Show. As always, thanks to Cheryl Ann and The Theatre Show crew for another memorable episode. Remember, you can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, or on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Michelle Neal, and I'll see you at the theatre. You can't stop my happiness Cause I like the way I am And you just can't stop my knife and fork When I see a Christmas ham So if you don't like the way I look Well, I just don't give a damn Cause the world keeps spinning I'm as proud of my heart Keeping time to the speed of sound I'm a lost I heard the drums found my way Since this whole world began, I will be proud of this. You should go to the shake of my bed. So I'm not a shaking chimney in the best that I can do that.